here I am in, in freaking Pennsylvania. I'm in Johnstown right now. What is this for you? What is this for you? What are you doing here? I'm being very, very serious right now. I ask myself sometimes, what, what am I even doing? So, so what are you doing? Why are you here? Tell me in the comment section. Tell me why you're here. I need to know, friends, because I'm telling you this truthfully. I've been doing this for eight freaking years and I've been a slow burning stump this whole time. I've not taken the quick road. I've not tried to get all kinds of crazy sponsored videos and done all this craziness to, 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 to propel myself into doing things. I've said from day one that I'm gonna travel around and cut trees with people and just go meet people and do all these things. And I'm doing it. But now with half a million subscribers almost, I want to do more. I've never asked for a freaking thing in my life. I fought for every nickel I got and everything I got in my life, which is not much as a little humble home in a suburb of Nanaimo. I'm going to travel, friends. If you want to see more of this content that you're about to see right now, I need to hear feedback. I want to know if you want to see me go around and do all kinds of crazy stuff. I'm sure you do, but I want to know what you're doing here. What are you here for? Why are you here? Some of all kinds of different things in here. Why are you here? I'm starting to look at this closer, friends. I want to know why you're here. Leave it in the comments. Tell me why you're here. So, I, uh, <laughs> friends, you, you, well, you don't have to understand nothing. I'm telling you that, uh, I've never traveled so much in my entire life ever since this YouTube channel. I've been doing this YouTube now for eight years and have been approached by, we're into the hundreds now. Obviously, any YouTuber understands what I'm talking about. You just get approached. Companies reach out to people who have YouTube channels. They, that's how they sell their products. And it's a great thing. It's a great formula. But I don't know why I chose to do none of it, hardly at all, till now. Well, I do know why. I'm saying to myself this whole time that something is gonna come along that I can literally get behind. Do you know what I mean? I, I can get, be look at the freaking day, friends, okay? That I can feel good about saying to you people who come here and support me for crying out loud, like this ain't a joke to me. It, it, it I, I, we all come from somewheres, friends. We all come from somewheres because my life has changed so drastically, friends, so drastically. And I, and I just, this would not happen if you people didn't come here and watch my flabbergastings and my ramblings. It just wouldn't be. Without you, it doesn't happen. So, so that's just how it goes. Um, and I'm real aware of it, okay? So I'm going to see Ripsaw. I'm gonna shine some light on these freaking boys. Friends, I wanna refresh your memory right now on a little project that I, myself and Morgan did. I'm gonna I'm gonna click in the video right now. Eric had time to build this muffler. 
to manufacture it. It wasn't just a stock muffler chopped and folded and whacked and no, no. He took it to a multi-million dollar company and said, this is what we want. And he got it back and I got, it. that's why I went there, friends. I needed to see this thing. He showed me pictures, but I was like, okay, well, let, let's, let's get together on it. So I went. That was one reason I was there. <laughs> Test the muffler, and that's what you just saw. <laughs> that muffler is the muff, the Buck and Eyes muffler that I sent. Hogan put it on his saw. He's like, Dad, that it works like crazy. The boys in camp are like, my, my, that's lovely. So we think we can do better. Eric prides himself on getting a saw. He don't want any blobs of, me, uh, of weld hanging off the mufflers like my stuff. He won't have it and I don't blame him. Everything is prototype and then we get to a stage where we can develop something and he wants to have it as a product on his website because he knows that mufflers work. Mufflers and pipes are not for everybody. They're just not but they sure are for me. And a lot of the boys I hang with. So anyways, um, but you can't have no freaking, you know, those, what do you call them things? Tuned pipes wrapped around the saw with a clamp on the side. And that doesn't work in the bush or in the tree services. It just doesn't work. We're just looking for a way to make our jobs easier and cut more fiber so we can get out of the tree. That's the deal. Get it done quicker. Get the job done quicker. If you want to sound good look doing it, that's up to you because these things do sound good. Anyhow, that's a lot of ramble, I know, but I'm passionate about this stuff. So we took my muffler, we ran it. We're like, there's gains there. But I, I said, you know what? On a stock saw, I had not done that. I'd done it on my ported saw and I said, I said to Eric, this can get better, but I don't know if you want to go down this road. He goes, I do want to go down this road. These saws were, friends, I can't run a stock 201. I've said it several times on the channel. I got in a pinch in Indiana one time and I had to run one. It was horrible. I'm just going to say it. It's not, it's not for me. It's not for me. Me, I'd rather have a ported 2511 right now, hands down. And I like lighter and stronger and faster things. That's why that 500 is growing on me, to be honest with you. Anyways, let's get back into this video. I'm going to show a little stuff that we were doing. Um, what a blast it was. It was way too short, the visit. So, I am in an airport. My family will tell you, it's it's not good. Okay, I'm, I, I'm, I'm like a lost child. This dude, right? Oh, you can't do that on selfie. He's right there. He's helping people. Here he comes now. So... I had to wait in, I would have had to wait in a lineup. For some reason they couldn't like check in online or something like that, I don't know. Christine is my lady, she does everything. I'm honestly like a lost puppy. I think I'm going to check in here, right over here. But uh, anyways, uh, just talk to people. Uh, these people are incredible at Delta. They just are wherever, they just, it's amazing. They help you right out, I love it. It's been super helpful. So I'll check with this young man, but I think this is it here. I'll, I'll check, but dude, thank you. You know, you're never gonna watch my videos, but wow, this is incredible. People are so nice. Yeah, it's here. I told you guys on the video, I think about 24 hours ago, I've been tricking you a little bit. I gotta be honest, I gotta stay true. Um, I've, been on a, I've been on an airplane for, well, I'll probably get some six or seven hours now and I'm, I just landed in Pittsburgh and I'm like, you know what it's like, you get off the escalators, you don't know where you're going and you're asking people and I got these boys on the phone and I come down here, he grabs my bag, boy, say hi. Hey, what's up? Friends, this is Ripsaw. These are the boys, you guys met them when I came to Bunyan last year. And this is the stink I've been raising about these boys on the channel. Well, I get there, they find me, they grab my bags. I'm like, give me the bags. They're like, no, we're taking your bags, Bucking. <laughs> and not only are they taking my bags, friends, look at this. Eric, what's the story on these suckers? 
So it's turbo. Uh, twin turbo with an electric supercharger. Twin turbo with an electric supercharger. You can't have any lag. You know, the turbos have the lag, the supercharger deletes the lag. <laughs> All about the power. Anyways, friends, just landed, but I did not want to miss this. I want to put this on. This is such a blast. I've never even been in anything like this. Look at this. Anyway, stay tuned. All right. Well, I got out of this hot rod car here. Oh, my back. I've been flying for... So, I'm not trying to grandstand here, but these boys aren't... Uh... They're not horsing around. I thought I was going to get picked up in an old pickup truck, but we're in the, whatever you call these. Hi, boys. How's the drive? It was quite nice. These cars are interesting. They got interesting power, eh? They just roll right on. Jake, say hi to everybody. What's going on, guys? Finn. How you doing? These are the boys. So if you've ordered something from Ripsaw, uh, mainly a ported power saw. These are the gentlemen that dig into it. And we're gonna go through some fun here and we're gonna show the shop and do a little factory tour. But we just pulled in. I'm, I'm probably gonna head up to my little Airbnb and get some rest and do some socials. Oh, there's the guy over there, is Eric. <laughs> so anyway, friends, we're gonna go in and, and check out the shop and we'll get, we'll get doing some vid for you. This will be fun. Friends, I'm with the boys at Ripsaw and I remember this last time when I came here. There's churches everywhere and all these little homes and just Pixel and I were here last year. And uh, and I can't believe that I'm here again and that Ripsaw and I are just hanging out again. This is crazy. And this is such the neatest little town, Johnstown. Look at, here's another little church. I like stuff like this, friends. Look at the forest here. I, I'm, I'm doing this video series because I'm here, friends, and I want to bring this little... You know how I do this when I go on these trips. I, I just, I get a kick out of this stuff. It's old. I like old things. And there's a history to this town. And it's mainly steel, isn't it, there? It is. Mainly, yep. yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm driving around with a good-looking young fella here in a hot rod car. It's kind of fun, i got to be honest. <laughs> but this, this, these brick buildings just... And look at the, look at the hillsides, all timbered. What is that old building? Oh yeah, steel mill. Steel mill. Look at that, friends. Abandoned steel mill. Amazing. Hey, this is fun. Friends. <laughs> uh, I, I don't even... Uh, I'm weird. Here I am. In, in freaking Pennsylvania. I'm in Johnstown right now at the Ripsaw corporate factory three boys in a barn i joke with them um i'm so honored to be here right now they're just we're firing up it's monday morning i kind of was joking with you guys i'll be honest i was sitting on my back deck and i was saying hey what do you guys think if i go to ripsaw and you guys were in the comments that'd be great well i'm here okay i'm here i want to know why you're here and i left on I think I left on Saturday and stayed in the hotel at the Fairview at the airport in Vancouver. And I flew here and I'm here now and Eric picked me up on Sunday at five. I was actually gonna whip in and see the Morgans, um, but that just didn't work out. It's about 7.30 in the morning. Uh, I'm super excited to be here and I'm super excited to show you people. I don't know who's got saws here right now, but they might be, they might be here. Here we go, tools are firing up. So we're doing R&D today, friends. I'm not gonna share that part with you because you'll just see that later. Um, we're fitting mufflers right now on a 201. I'm gonna run, I'm their, well, you know what I am for these guys. Um, I, I, I'm a little blown away right now that I made it here so quickly. Like, this is the beautiful thing about travel. Those are 500 eyes. The 500i, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say right now, still well done. I'm a Husky guy, but people who know me, it don't matter what the saw is. If the saw freaking cuts, it gets kudos. You know my issues with the, with the 500 in the small wood, that kind of barky thing. It's, it's, there's no saw that can grab it right now in the buck. It's light, it's strong. 
I mean, people are putting all the fancy dancy rigging and heavier pieces on them and the weight comes up, doesn't matter, it's still a wicked saw. I'm really enjoying mine. It took me a while to figure that freaking saw out and it's all on the channel. Never mind that. Let's talk about this. I'm gonna turn the camera around. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, friends, all I know is when I came to Paul Bunyan uh, last year with Nick Pixel, um, these boys were working away, and Nick said, "Hey, uh, you know, I, 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 my buddy Eric has got a little saw shop and a uh, rip saw, and I, I'd heard of them. I had heard of them. Of course, I saw their name and their and their logo." And I said, let's go out. I want to see how these, maybe they, I can run one of their saws or something. And that's all been documented on the channel too. But friends, the internet is a, is a very interesting place. But these men are going steady. They work in batches. This is where this business is at now. They work in batches. It's not, oh, we got two saws to build, let's go. They're here at the crack of dawn. They work Monday to Saturday, sometimes Sundays. There's three men. We got Mr. Finley here and he's just going. How you doing, brother? Good, how you doing? I'm doing real good. What are you working on? Oh, some 500 eyes. 500? Oh, yeah. It's been a good saw, hasn't it? Oh, one of our best. Yeah, I love it. Mm-hmm. And you're just getting in there now? Yeah, just doing the finishing works on her. Yeah. Doing some chamfer work here, cleaning up some rough edges. Going to polish the exhaust, and then we're going to put it back together. It looks like the exhaust has already been ported. Yeah, ported. We're going to polish it here you've soon. Yeah, you've matched this because mm -hmm. this looks bigger than a factory uh, port. Uh, quite a bit bigger. Do we have a, a factory cylinder that we can just quickly yeah. show? Take yeah. one. I, I want to show people this. So this is interesting to me. I found that, oh, look at that. Isn't that interesting? Mm-hmm. Very interesting. Oh yeah. They're, they're sure small out of the factory. This they is a, this 500i <laughs> is a really neat saw. Oh, that's quite a bit different. Very nice. I'll get out of your face, I know you're busy. This dude, I like this dude. Mr. Finn, he's a quiet, he's a quiet horse, this man. He just works. These boys are going. Now you got this wild man over here. This excites me. So, so if you've been thinking about a 500i, I don't think I could have said this maybe six months ago. I, I don't know if I would have leaned people towards the 500. Maybe, maybe, a, little, maybe a little further. Um, there's videos of me running that saw. Um, actually getting frustrated in the video and grabbing a 266 because of the, of the snap cutting small wood. You guys remember it, it's all there. That saw has changed. I've dialed it. And I even believe it's broken or they've done something to that computer after a certain amount of hours that saw leans out or something happens. Still's not, they're smart, still in Husky. They're all, they're all good. But, but I, I can now confidently say if, if you're looking for a, a good all around saw and you have a, a business or you're a firewood cutter. The firewood cutters love these things because firewood cutters are in the buck. They're not really sanitizing and limbing and doing... Some guys do, depending on the claim or where they're getting their wood. But let's be honest. Most of the firewood guys I know through YouTube are cutting off the end of a tractor or in a pile and they're in the buck. You know what I mean? Um, so I've experienced that saw change now in the small wood. Exhaust has helped me on that. So we're, we're doing some r and I'm super duper excited to be here. Uh, pop onto their Instagram, give them a hoot. There's some saws here, we may do a little signing. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go through some name tags here and see if I see anybody from our community in here. Maybe we can get something signed. Uh, I'm just excited. What's this character working on? We're working on one of Mark's mufflers here. A little exhaust work today. Yeah, we gotta crack a little bit of that Test in there. fitting. Yeah, doing some fitting, beautiful. And these are 500s, Jake? Yes, 500s. Yep. Yeah. Uh, still gonna port the exhaust on here. Machine work still. Yeah. So you're just lining them up, working batches? Yep. Yeah. Little batch work, yeah. Transfer work's done inside, that's about it so yep. far. It, it's, I, was, I was blown away when I went to put a muffler on one of these saws, I was blown away at how small the exhaust port is. Yeah, they're very small. We open them up a good bit. The, the power that these things make is, it, it's always it, it impressed me actually. It was the small wood cutting that bothered me, but I'm getting that dialed. It's Very coming. Much. Yeah. So, so friends, th this is what's going on here. <laughs> he 
these boys are going. So another exciting thing, the 200 or the 201 muffler. Uh, we're testing it for port size now. Um, Eric, you figure we're pretty close, aren't we, with that muffler? We're pretty close. Just dialing it in now. Just dialing it in now, yeah. Yes, sir. And here's, these are 500 mufflers, aren't they? Yep, just doing some machine work on them. Yeah. So uh, machine the baffles out, and then we port match it, you know, put, put all these together. Yeah, keep it all stocked. That's one thing I like about your saws. You keep them looking just factory, you know? People pay a lot of money for them. You know, we don't like to gob them up with welds and... No. You know what I mean? It's just... Unless you're an expert welder, most <laughs> Which you're not. Yeah. And yeah, I'm not. Yeah. No, this is interesting. Yeah, so these, these normally come with a, with a big... Ba oh, sorry, friends. With a, you know, like a big baffle, mm -hmm. which can create restriction. Mm -hmm. And yeah. also carbon, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. These 500s like to shoot right out of there. They do, don't they? Mm -hmm. This is, this is the, the, what I've experienced is they do like to, the, these saws are very adaptable to 500i. I've had probably four or five different mufflers, pipes and mufflers, a bear claw design, a pipe, and they just adapt. There wasn't much, that's that fuel injection. Still, I get to run a 400 today and I'm freaking excited. I've not had a 400 in my hands, friends. So I'm pretty excited about that. Here's our Husky corner. These boys are in it. This 2511 has freaking just been a killer saw, hasn't it, boys? Oh, yeah. If you don't have a 2511, you need to figure it out. You need one. Yeah. You need one, especially for us old guys. Man, I tell you, you see that Hunnicky using his all the time. He's old like me. I think he's older than I am. You know that YouTube tree climber? Reg, I don't know if Reg, Reg is running a lot of battery stuff now. Reg, I love you, brother. Uh, Reg Coates, good, good buddy of mine. He's... He's in Victoria. It, it's, a, it's a big city, beautiful city. And I, I know that the, the, the people around in there, um, in that neighborhood, in that area, they love their peace and quiet. And uh, so, Reg, I understand why you run those battery saws. Boys, I got to tell you right now, thank you for having me here. I'm, I'm excited. Absolutely. Straight up excited. Oh dear, Mark, you guys remember the pretzel muffler. And if you don't know the pretzel muffler, let me show it to you now. <clears throat> right? That was the pretzel muffler. Okay? Um, it works. It's beautiful. Um, and it's a lot of work. But anyways, Mark and I have been doing R&D on mufflers for a good long time. He was at Bunyan last year. So I said, Mark, listen, if, if I'm going to send people over to your website, because I'm not selling the pipes, friends. Some of you may think I'm selling them. That was a thought that we were gonna put them on my website, but I don't wanna do that. I just wanna lift Mark up. He's been working his canaches off for years. This has been a side thing for him, a side hustle. And I wanna see the guy be able to stay home in his, in his later years on his last leg. I really like Mark. We almost lost him, uh, lost him last year, friends. He was in the hospital and him and his brother made it to Bunyan. And we lifted him up at Bunyan and I, I just love the guy, he's a friend of mine. So these mufflers will be available. Uh, when Mark gets his website rolling, which I think he's close, but this is the spark arrester. And I haven't run it yet, friends. I haven't. And I'm actually kind of excited about it. You guys get your head up, something could drop in. Mark is a genius when it comes to this. Look at his freaking work. So, friends, remember, these are bolt-on headers. It's a header. It's a header pipe. What do people do to their hot rods when they're building an old hot rod? They take the manifold off, and they throw headers on. Why? Well, because 10% is 10%. And when you're chasing horsepower, it's just what people do. So, they're loud. 100% they're loud. If some people don't like loud, then they don't buy the muffler. So, uh... I'm very excited about this. You can see where it lays. A lot of thought went into this, friends. You know, these are short dogs. These are the stock dogs. I love these dogs. There's nothing wrong with those stock still dogs. 
Here's our little, here's our little, here's our little 201ers. And I'm loving it. These 2511s are nuts. If you need a little power saw for cutting trees and, and you want it light, Echo. Well done, Echo. Straight up, well done. Who can we shout out? You got any names I can shout out? Any power saw names? So hey, what, who's in this batch? Let's get exciting here today at Ripsaw. Who we got? Eric's going into his list here of saws. Who can we shout out? Should we sign a saw today? What should we do, friends? Let's get, let's get this thing popping. Who do you got here? Somebody from this channel, probably. He's going after a name. He's going after a name right now. Joey from Texas. Joey Greskoviak. Greskoviak. Hey, Joey, your saw's in this batch, brother. Yeah, we will. <laughs> that could be your saw right there, Joey. <laughs> These boys are ripping. This is so exciting for me to be able to finally, after eight years on YouTube, to finally be able to answer questions that people say to me, Bucking, where can I get my saw ported? Where can I get this? Where can I get that? These boys are in pencil freaking Vania and they're moving. Travis oh, Travis O'Neill. We got another fella. Tra in California. Travis in California with a 500 eye. Travis, I think your saw's in this batch, brother. I don't know if you watch me, but it don't matter. Your saw's in there. Um, I'm going to take a look at some names here because I'll recognize something from the channel. And uh, let, well, let's see if we get something signed here for you, friends. Got James Watts. James Watts has got a 500 in this batch. He went for expedited service. Too. Expedited service. Oh, he wants it quick. Mm -hmm. So, so these folks, you're, you're moving on these 500s. Oh yeah, yeah we do. Want They're doing a batch of 500s right now. If you're interested and wondering where your saw is, friends, these guys are in the tooling, going steady. They're batch working. Okay. So if you're, if you're, so, what, Eric, can you tell me what your lead time is or is that an uncomfortable question right now? No, yeah, so, I mean, basically when guys call us and they ask what our lead time is, it's impossible to gauge out, you know, three months in advance where we're actually going to be. Yep. So what we do is the orders that are currently done and getting boxed up, we look and we see how long it's been since that guy placed their order. Right now, orders that are going out are like 13, 14 weeks. Yep. So if you want to buy a saw right now, we're pretty much telling guys we're at four months just to be on the safe side. I like it. Four months out. Yep. Okay. Hey, Good. Hey, bro. We'll be at six here soon. We'll be here, sir. You will, won't you? Friends, thank you all so much for following along this journey. It was a short, fast, furious trip to Pennsylvania. It was such a good time. Friends, I love you all. Work hard, be honest, and be kind. And we'll catch you on the next video.